Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be about 10 habits for a successful start to your day. This is super important and the reason why I want to share these habits is because in the beginning I was feeling sluggish, tired, angry, like my day wasn't in my control. So I started picking up some new habits, started you know, looking at successful people's habits and how they keep a momentum of a good day basically so I'm really happy to share these habits with all of you so another thing I want to note is these habits are not in order you can do them in any way you want I suggest also starting off with one habit stick with it for about 30 days so that it's stuck and basically it turns into a habit so the first habit is one that everybody knows and I'm sure everyone has heard it before and it's to wake up early Reason why this is a great head start to your day is because while the rest of the world is sleeping, you get a head start on your goals. This is so important. Um, basically, a lot of people like to sleep in. They don't worry about what they need to do personally. They just wake up, get ready, and go to work. And with waking up early, you get to focus on your own goals. And it's more calming in the morning as well. It's quiet. That way, it's easier for you to focus on those goals. So wake up early, don't hit that snooze button, and your day is gonna start off wonderful after that. So the second habit is make your bed. This is really important to me personally. I recently saw a YouTube video. Um, it was a speech from Admiral William McRaven, and he says a quote, if you want to change the world, start by making your bed. This is really important because in the video he explains like you accomplish your first task and then from there on, you accomplished your next task and your next task and it starts this momentum basically. And then you have a sense of pride, like you finished your first task, what's the next thing you can do to get your day going? So this is important. Uh, start by making your bed and the day's gonna start feeling really good because you accomplished something since then. So another great habit is to drink your water. This is super important. Um, this is a great way to start your day off wonderful. Basically, you drink your water, you're feeling hydrated, you're feeling good, it wakes up your body and you're more energized. I personally like to keep a big water bottle next to my bedside, so as soon as I wake up, I'm drinking my water and I'm ready to conquer whatever the day has ahead for me. Another great habit to start off your day is having a healthy breakfast. So if you start waking up early, you don't have time to make the bad choices. So you have enough time make a healthy breakfast so instead of waking up late and rushing out the door and just picking up something on the go like let's say you pick up Starbucks you get your coffee you get a little breakfast that they have there but then you feel sluggish and that's not the best way to start your day so you would want to wake up wake up early have your healthy breakfast either being like avocado toast with a side of fruit, have some eggs as well, and it's gonna give you the energy you need to conquer your day. So very important, healthy breakfast, make that a habit. This one is my personal favorite because it has definitely changed my life and it's been something that I'm going towards. And this habit is to work out or even stretching. This is a great, honestly, way to start your day. Um, the reason why is you're starting your day with some movement. It can either be some simple yoga, cardio, or weightlifting. As long as that body is moving, you're getting that energy. So doing that early workout session helps keep you refreshed and it'll, you'll feel successful. So basically, let's say you have to deadlift 65 kilos. Like this is a situation I was in. I wasn't feeling it. I was like, no, I can't do it. I did it and I felt amazing. I went through the rest of my day feeling powerful, feeling energized, feeling ready just to conquer. So start your day off feeling good that you took care of your body. So early workout sessions, do them in the morning, great habit. You will feel so much better and you'll feel like you can do anything in your day. So another great habit is to plan your day. That's a great way to start the day. So instead of waking up late and guessing what the day will be like, plan it. So planning helps keep your day organized and it helps reduce stress. So even if something random pops up, like let's say you have a friend's birthday dinner to go to or your boss calls you to cover a shift, 
instead of guessing like, oh, what do I have to do today? You can just go through your planner and say, okay, I could make some arrangements here and there to where I'm not jumbling around everywhere trying to make things work and stressing myself out more. So that's just a great example um, of why you should plan your day instead of doing all the guessing like, oh, do, can I do this? Can I not do this? All of that. Another great habit to help you start your day off great is visualization. So with visualization, it's kind of like planning your day, but more goal driven. Um, basically, you want to write down your goals and how it will be incorporated in your day. So you can either have a vision board or even um, a notebook, write them down. So writing them down or even seeing them motivates you for a better day. So instead of just waking up, getting ready for work and feeling no purpose, change it up with, change it up with some goals. So another great habit um, to have, this is something I am currently working on right now, is to read. Um, this is great because I've read some great things about it. It's great to start off your day like this. Basically, a majority of people, we wake up and we check our social media immediately and then we feel like crap. Um, and we should just change it up with a good book instead. So it can be books that help with your goals or personal feel good book. Um, this, this is awesome. Because instead of just waking up, checking your social media, reading what everyone else is doing with their life, you go on with your day like, oh, I, why can't I do these cool things this person's doing? Um, just start off your day with a, good, with a book instead. Um, you'll feel better. You won't really care about what everyone else is doing. You're more caring about yourself. Um, this is your time. Just don't go wasting on social media. It's good to also um, start your brain up with some good stuff instead of looking at other people's lives and feeling like crap. So get your mind ready for a good day. Read a book. To start off your day is meditation or prayer. A lot of our days are gonna be chaotic and instead of just immediately walking into that chaos and immediately having a bad day, start off your day with some calmness or peace around you. Um, <clears throat> So you can meditate for 15 minutes and center yourself, feel that peace and calmness around you, or you can also pray if that's what you prefer as well. I personally like to do both. Um, with meditation, there's so many apps out there, like Headspace is a great one to really focus on your breathing and focus on pretty much the calmness. Um, prayer is great too because I like to personally wake up and thank God for another day, another day I can conquer and another day I can be my best self. Um, <clears throat> it helps your, so this helps start your day with a clear mind and emptying out the worries you had yesterday, which is so important. Um, you're prepared to conquer and rule the day. So definitely start your day off with some meditation or even prayer, whatever you prefer, as long as you have that sense of calmness around you. So this is another great habit and a lot of people I feel forget about it, um, especially with the chaos of mornings, um, is to have me time. This is a great way to start your day because we're out there taking care of others. We're out there working at our job, doing what we need to do, um, and we forget about us. So when you take the time to take care of you before you start the day, it changes a lot. So waking up early, it lets me enjoy the little things like a good skincare routine or even a great shower. I'm doing things for me. I, w I would even listen to music or maybe a podcast just to relax myself and have my personal time. Um, I mean, yeah, we can just sleep in instead. Like maybe that's relaxing for you, but how much is being done when you sleep? It doesn't really start your day off successfully. The time to take care of you before you take care of others and your other tasks of the day. It's great to just kind of give yourself some time before you go out there in the world and begin your day. Like you feel great. You are ready to, like I've said many times in this video, conquer the world. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment on what habits you will use as well. Um, I want to know how it goes. Let me know how it goes as well if you've tried these habits and it went well for you. 
So leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you for my next video.